Uh, let's get up to uh, Shelby Rose. She's been in Polk County all morning. Uh, and where are you now in Polk County, uh, Shelby? I know it looks like you're in a different location. Yes, Delon, we're actually in downtown Livingston at the moment. This is an area that has been completely hammered by flooding this morning to kind of give you an idea of how badly it was and how much better it has gotten. I was just speaking with some Livingston police officers who told me that where I'm standing right here, water was over my head this morning. So all of these businesses, to give you a little look at this, see these U-Haul trucks that are kind of scattered about? They were across the road. The floodwaters literally took them up and carried them into the road. Thankfully, though it is receded enough that now we have some tow trucks that are out here. These roads are starting to open back up, but it truly was a terrible situation just a few hours ago. And this is what I want to show you, which is still incredible. Look at how unbelievably fast this water is moving here through downtown Livingston. This is what was responsible for all of that flooding this morning. It I don't even want to know how fast that that water is moving. So thankfully, though, the situation here in in downtown Livingston specifically is starting to improve as Livingston police are opening the roads back up. But one major issue that we have been covering all morning long, and that is the closure of Highway 59 through Livingston in both directions. And guess what? It is still closed. So it has been going on more than three hours, four hours now, I think, since 7.30 this morning. I've lost track of time. Um, that it has been closed and it is still closed. Also speaking with Livingston police officers, they have no idea when it will be back open. They say it is still really, really terrible as the water is moving over Highway 59. So it's going to be closed for the foreseeable future. So take that in mind. If you have any plans to drive either northbound or southbound on 59, don't. And it's the same story, honestly, all around Polk County. We have roads that have been flooded all morning long that have been impassable. Thankfully, though, this major road this is the 59 business route. This is now open back up, but it is something that you don't want to risk. You don't want to think that you can take an alternate route to go around 59 and then you're going to come across another impassable road. So the good news is the conditions in downtown Livingston have improved. Bad news is 59 definitely has not. So avoid that at all costs. Dewan. Insane to see there, Shelby. Quick question. I, I see them allowing traffic to move through there. I imagine that road was closed at one point. They're not letting people drive through on that road behind you, though. Um, this road behind me is open. It was closed for the majority of the morning. As I said, water, Delon, was seriously, they were telling me that it was probably above my head. Um, I, they, they're like, you would have been underwater um, just a few hours ago. Okay. Well, you stay safe out there. We appreciate all your reports.